Today we're going to read two stories. We're going on a bear hunt by Michael Rosen and Helen Oxenbury and Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. So let's start with we're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we gotta go through it. Swishy swashy, swishy swashy, swishy swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river, a deep cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we gotta go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. They're getting really wet. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud, thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we've gotta go through it. Squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. We're gonna get really dirty. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we've gotta go through it. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Those are some big trees. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we've gotta go through it. It doesn't look like they have their winter jackets. They must be really cold. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a cave, a narrow gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we've gotta go through it. One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big googly eyes. It's a bear! Run! Quick! Back through the cave, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snowstorm, whoo! Back through the forest, stumble trip, stumble trip. Back through the mud, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. Back through the river, splish, splash, splish, splash. Back through the far grass, swishy swashy, swishy swashy. Get to the front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs. Shut the door, back upstairs, into the bedroom, into the bed, under the covers. <gasps> Phew. We're not going on a bear hunt again. The end. Now let's do Grumpy Monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, insisted Jim. On his walk, he met Marabou. 
Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched up. So Jim loosened up. Can you get hunched up? Like, and then loosen your body. Oh, there we go. We're all loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brows. Can you bunch up your eyebrows? And then raise them up. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because you tripped over me. Norman whispered to Snake, so Jim put on a smile. Can you make a frown on your face? And put a smile on. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy. Does he look happy? He kind of does, but he kind of looks like he's a little crazy. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing all of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! Ooh! Shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Can you beat your chest? Oh! And he stormed off. He doesn't seem very happy, does he? Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed, and just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupine, said Norman. Look at, he's got some of porcupine's needles in his butt. That must have hurt. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. The end. And that's it for today. I hope you guys have a good day.